Now, one thing I want to talk to you about today is something to do with glazing. Now, all glazing simply is, is when you lay a colour over the top of an existing colour. And the thing about glazing as well, if you're using transparent colours, have a look on the back of your tubes if you've got tube paints and the kind of the opacity, which, which obviously you find on the tubes. For example, this opaque, while well, it is obviously as it states opaque, have a look and see which ones you've got. Try doing this with transparent colours, okay? So again, look at your tube. Let me have a quick look over here a minute, one second. So when you look at this one here, which is burnt umber, you find that it's got transparent, so it's a transparent rating, which is quite good. But some are opaque, so bear that in mind as well. So if you do this with transparent colours, you find that the colour underneath will show through. So for example, this is a semi-transparent colour, which is going to be like an orangey colour. That's cadmium orange. And you find with cadmium orange, if I just paint over there, you can see how semi-transparent it is. They will still show through the colours underneath, which is exactly what we've got there. Um, but it will also still, which is quite nice, tint that colour down. It's a good way of also testing your colours out and see what colours mixed will make. So if you're using this colour with blue, what colour will it make? And so on. So um, good way of doing it, by the way. If you do different stripes of varying colours all the way through, leaving gaps in between, so a bit like a, like a cross-hatched effect, and then vary the colours coming back over the other way and see what kind of colours you get when they cross over one another like this. So that's a little bit basically about uh, overlaying and transparent colours, just to give us some general idea on how things work. They've got a nice purple there, look. All right, so there you go. Let me know how you get on and uh, please leave any comments or questions down below. I'll be happy to do my best, my best, my very best to answer them for you. So until next time around, Bye-bye for now. If you'd like to see more watercolour painting tips, head to patreon.com forward slash thedevonartist and you'll see my full list of step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to paint wildlife in watercolour. Where you get also the project photo, the outline drawing for that month's project as well, and even a step-by-step -step handwritten or hand-typed by me full PDF on that particular current month's project. So come and join me and let's get painting together. And don't forget to click on like, subscribe and share. And please leave a comment down below as well. I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts and find out what you've been up to on your painting ventures. So until next time, bye bye for now.